Autumn or fall has to be my favourite time of the year. You get to see Saracenia lacophila peaking and looking their best. In this video, I explore my nursery and show you how my Saracenia lacophila varieties are showing off at this time of the year. My name is Jerry from Suckle and Fly Traps. Alright, so I'm going to come up to the Tarnock variety. There's a Lacophila, Saracenia Lacophila Tarnock variety. And I tell you what, around about this time, it's late March. I always look forward to this time of the year because I know that the Saracenia Lacophila are bringing up their best pitches. And they're coming up very very strongly indeed let's just zoom in on this one over here now these pictures remind me of cobras judging by the way that some of these look look at that you got that hood there this one's quite flat ones that i've seen you do get a bit of variety there with the pictures and look at this one over here so you can see that the hood is not as flat as the other one nevertheless they do look like, what well, they do remind me of, cobras. I know that there's a carnivorous plant called the cobra lily, but this should be called the cobra pitcher plant. As well as that, they've got quite narrow pitchers here compared to my other one down the back there, which I'll show you later on. So that again also adds to the effect of looking like a cobra now we've had some rain just overnight and as always you do see an increase in activity with insects now if i come up to here you can hear there's a lot of buzzing going on listen to this hear that always love coming up here hearing that I know that they're happily feeding. Now, look how strongly these plants have been coming up. You know, some of these pots are quite full. This one here I'm gonna to have to definitely divide next year, next growing season. But look how many of these pictures have come up. It's just, just a sea of white. And it's just lovely to see all the insects up here dancing around on the tops of those pitches. Some of them actually falling in, others sort of uh, working out that, hey, it's a bit dangerous up there, so they sort of fly away at the last minute. But yeah, it's just really, really nice to see. Now, you can see looking at these older pitches, the growth pattern that these plants have gone through to get to this stage. Now, you can see these smaller pitches. You can see how they're sort of curvy, um, sort of spindly They're not as impressive as the ones that were are being produced right now in autumn And you can just see there that This is these larger ones here and the smaller ones here were, which were produced in the summer and spring Now look at this one over here you get this Anomalies every now and again. I don't know why they do this. I suppose you're expecting every picture to come out perfectly, but uh, it's just a quirk of nature. But uh, yeah, most of them are coming up beautifully and strongly. Have a look at this one over here. And most of them are packed with flies, and some are even digesting, as you can see right here with that discoloration. Those digestive enzymes are really, really working to provide nutrients for the plant. Yeah, some coming up over here. They're the new pictures, how they look like. Now, Saracenia lacophila, sometimes called the white pitcher plant. Now, you can see here how there's a lot of white panels there. And apparently what that does is that it tricks the fly into thinking that um, 
there's light there so when they're about to fly off they fly into the white panels and then as they do they fall in so that's the reason why those white panels are seen there at the back of the picture there the tricks to fly into thinking that yep that's where you have to fly to for safety and in doing so they, as I said they tumble in this one over here Let's see, Let's see if you fall in. Let's have a look. Always like it. Whoop! There you go. He's fallen all the way down the bottom there. Now this picture here, oh, I'd say he's about say 65 centimeters high. It's not the tallest one. The tallest one is that one there at the back, right there, towering above all of them. All the other ones. See that one there in the center. That's probably about 75 centimetres high, so it's a long way for those flies to tumble. And it just goes to show when they are full, there's a lot of flies that can be packed into those pitches. Okay, so moving along to my other special Saracenia lacophila. So this plant here, or well, there are three pot plants, they're called Saracenia Lacophila, the form is called red veins. Now, interestingly enough, I can't see too many red veins here in, the, in these larger pictures. When I look on the back of this picture here, it's pretty much green veins. However, when I look at the smaller pictures over here, you can really see those red veins coming through the throat of the picture and also the hood as well. And there's the back of this picture over here, beautiful. And in fact, these pictures over here, these smaller ones, look pretty much identical to the pictures here of the Tarnock variety. Other features of this plant over here, the hood is pretty much in line with the rim of the picture. The rim of the picture, the opening is probably around about three centimeters across. It's quite, they're quite large. The pictures here on the Tarnock variety, you can see here how the hood pretty much overlaps the rim of the picture, and the rim, or the opening of that picture, it's right around about say two to two and a half centimeters across. And I think it's those features that really do remind me of cobras. These pictures. There's that buzzing sound again. Also, the color of these pictures, it's a brilliant white. Best way to describe it is a snow white. And it really is a dazzling effect. Especially when you compare it to these dark red pictures here, the Saracenia flava red tube crossed with the Nalata red throat. I think they will look absolutely gorgeous together in the same pot and it's something that I'm going to do in the next growing season so stay tuned for that. Now looking at the growth pattern of this plant, it, um, there, as I said there are three pots here, three pot plants. I started off with two rhizomes about two years ago. I've had to divide them and put them into separate pots. They are coming up very strongly now, being autumn. This is the older spring pitcher. Not as large as the autumn pitchers produced right now. This plant here, or all three plants actually grew these phyllodia, which are non carnivorous leaves during the summer, late spring, summer season. Interestingly enough, the Saracenia Tarnock variety didn't actually produce Philodia. I have heard that for some varieties of Lacophila, when the humidity is high, remains high, they don't actually produce Philodia. They just keep producing pitches. We did get some storm activity later on in the season, so that probably explains why the humidity levels were so high and why these Tarnock plants didn't produce Philodia. 
this variety over here I'm not sure whether it will be available I don't know whether I have enough if I do I will put them on my website but uh, the Tarnock variety that's another story I will definitely have plenty of them to put up on my website and they will be for sale in the next growing season so stay tuned for that okay everyone until next time happy growing